we'll shoot from 20 yards and just see. We'll shoot one. Kind of, we kind of stepped it off, so it should be in the general vicinity. Let's go. Melissa shoots an arm guard. I don't. I like to have my arm guard. So here, I'll go ahead and just kind of shoot and get a. Get an idea. I hit the dot on the first one. If you notice too, we're shooting two different releases. I'm shooting what's called a wrist, wrist strap release. The strap goes around your wrist and Melissa's shooting a thumb release where she has no strap. So it's just preference more or less. Some people believe that they can shoot better with those and I've just gotten used to a wrist strap. Right here, right? This is where you are? Yeah, right here. Well, Baron, you took the middle dot. On the, if you watch both me and Melissa, a lot of times when we shoot, if you'll watch us shoot over and over again, we shoot exactly the same. We do the exact same thing every time. I mean, we go through the routine. The sequence is the same. Yeah, the sequence is going to be the same, and it has to become kind of robotic for you to become a good shooter. Basically what we'll do is, I mean, if we have like a 3D target or something down there, what you do is you just kind of step up and you kind of look at your surroundings kind of based on where we've been practicing and stuff. You'll have an idea of the yardage. We'll usually use our binoculars to look at the target, you know, have a good idea of where we want to shoot. And then that's when you start into your shoot suit. Come on, It's all right, I'm used to it. Everybody still calls her Missy Brown. She's Melissa Tollett and Missy Brown. That's right. Pull like Melissa did out shoot me a little bit. She got two in the dot, pretty much dead center. So who won that round? Me. I did. We both hit the dot. She's two in the center. What, Nick? I said she we both hit the dot twice, but she's more in the center of the dots. You shoot three and then I shoot three. That's what happens when you hit the back of an arrow. All right, we're going to play the dot game. And what we're going to do is we're each going to shoot three arrows. And I'm going to go first. And I have to shoot at three different dots. And then I'll go pull them and he'll shoot. And whoever has what in the center? Just the closest to the center of the dot will determine the one. Yeah. Number two. Shot number three. I hit my arm on the last one. Oh, that was bad. Let's pull you on. 
all you gotta do is get two in the dot and beat me. Well, I've only got one in the dot, so. I mean, that one's kind of in if you look at the edge here, but I mean, we'd, have, we'd probably give that to her because it's close enough to it. If, if we had an actual 3D target with rings and stuff, I'd say that we'd call that pulling the line. So we'd probably give her a point there. So I'd say two out of three. All right, this will be shot number one. Shot number two. No pressure. We're tied. <laughs> this is shot number three. Don't miss the dot. I was driving crazy. Well, we shot three dots, three different arrows at three different dots, and if you notice, all three of these are inside the circle of the dot, and she had two out of three, so, so, we have to play so I guess I beat her. Absolutely. <laughs>